Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the 13th episode of Course Review with Kamath. In today's episode, I have with me Jasmeet Singh, who is a student of electronics engineering from Hochschule Ham Lipstadt. So without any further ado, let us welcome Jasmeet Singh to this uh, interview. Thanks, Jasmeet. It's nice to have you here. Could you start with a small introduction about yourself? Where do you come from? When did you come to Germany? And what are you currently doing? Okay, um, so like, as you know, I'm just Meet Singh Mata. You already know my name. So I come from Mumbai, India. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing my bachelor's here in electronics engineering from Hochschule Ham Lipstadt. And it's completely in English. Okay. Usually what I see is like... Uh, lot of Indians or international students come to Germany for their masters. I rarely saw students who came here for bachelors and it's nice to know that there is a way also to come for bachelor studies. So my question to you is, uh, when did this thought come to your mind that you need to pursue bachelor studies from Germany and what was the process? Okay, so the thing is like back in 2016 when I was in 10th, Mm -hmm. uh, like I had in my mind, like I had to go abroad for my studies. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so after completion of my 10th, like I went and gave my SAT exams, IELTS exams. Mm -hmm. And then, but then it was too expensive mm -hmm. to go to US and Canada at that time and Australia. Mm -hmm. So I gave up like, because like I wanted to go to the university, good universities, not in some colleges. Mm -hmm. So I gave up that idea and then I went to, uh, and like I knew about Germany, but the thing about Germany was like, uh, someone told me I, I need to have German language mm -hmm. skills if I want to pursue my bachelor's here. So I gave up an idea for my bachelor's and I went and did one year engineering in India. Mm -hmm. While I was pursuing engineering in India, I had a friend who was like, let's go to like abroad and study. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. So I, we both started doing our research and then he went to Russia for okay. his bachelor's mm -hmm. and I found a way to come to Germany. It's like, uh, since I was doing my bachelor's like one year, so it was a requirement. So it's like, I didn't waste any year as it was mm -hmm. a requirement. And then I found a way to come here and do my bachelor's in Germany. That's nice to know that there is a way. So my yes. next immediate question would be, what is this way exactly? Like, what is the requirement uh, usually to uh, pursue bachelors from Germany? As far as I know, Germany is one of the main requirement. And then here in Germany, something called as 13 uh, yes. years of studies required. So yes. uh, what is it exactly? So that, as I mentioned, like mm -hmm. I did one year engineering in India. Mm -hmm. So that was considered at my 13th, 13th in Germany itself. Okay. So there are two options. Like uh, if you want to like what kind of degree do you want to pursue? Mm -hmm. You can have an experience of one year in NAC, NAAC created universities in mm -hmm. India. Mm -hmm. And then you can apply here. Mm -hmm. And the other is like uh, you have to know C1 or B2 language of German. Come here, do student colleague. Mm -hmm. Then you have to give the exams, like entrance exam. And then you can apply for any universities like for German or English. Uh, not for English because if you want to pursue English, you also need to have IELTS or TOEFL scores. Okay. So for me, as I mentioned, uh, from 2016, I was planning to go abroad. So I already had my IELTS score. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So... So for you, uh, you said that uh, your course is totally in English, if I am right. So yes. you did not have any uh, prerequisite of uh, German language or was there some kind of a prerequisite? Uh, there is no, there was no prerequisite and mm -hmm. I'm like here three years in Germany and I still know A1 only. <laughs> this is a nice hack that you are telling to our audience that any student who wants to pursue bachelors, at least from the course that you are doing at Ham yes. Lipstadt Hochschule, they don't need to have any German language. The only thing in this case is that they need to study engineering for one year and then year. apply further. Yes. Uh, right now, I think they need APS certificate. Mm -hmm. It's So I think it will be like after one year of their like education in India, they have to apply for APS mm -hmm. and then apply to universities. Okay. Okay. So it was pretty much straightforward for you, not too much yes. of a hassle apart from studying one year extra in India. Yeah. So like the mm -hmm. thing here in Germany is like every university has its own portal. Mm -hmm. So instead of like 
US or Canada or Australia where you have to go through some portals and then you have to pay for each application. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not like that. It's completely free. Like just go to university portal and apply there. Okay. So you don't need basically any mediators. You can just uh, do the whole process yourself. Look at the online portals of universities and then apply. Yes. Yes. That's pretty nice to know uh, for those who are watching this video. This is also something that I like about Germany, wherein you can do most of the stuff yourself. But yes, uh, what was surprising for me was uh, to know that it's not really difficult to come for bachelor's degrees. And also there are offerings in English. I knew that there are many offerings in German uh, for sure for bachelor studies, but uh, I think uh, your course is uh, something special in this case. Or maybe there are other English courses. Uh, it's not like uh, at my time, like there were only 44 or 46 mm -hmm. bachelor's courses completely in English in Ger uh, Germany. Mm -hmm. But right now, I think there are more. So if uh, someone wants to do bachelor's in Germany, they can go to DART International website. Mm -hmm. And under that, they can search for courses bachelor's and completely in English. And then you will have a list of all of the courses available in Germany, which are completely taught in English program. Wow. That's really surprising that there are so many English courses offerings in Germany. Wow. That's something I will also have to look into for further information. But for me, the most interesting part also is to know your thinking. So it's slightly easy when you have some experience in life, have, have done your bachelor's in India, you are at age of 22 and then probably work for two, three years, come for your master's. 90% of them or 95% of them take this way. But when you decide to do your bachelor's at a very young age, 18, 19, and then you have to shift totally to Germany, uh, I am sure that there are a lot of hurdles. So how were your first few months here in Germany in a totally different environment? What was it for you, the initial few months? I was excited to be honest. Like, mm -hmm. uh, and since like uh, my first semester was online mm -hmm. because of COVID. And uh, so I came directly here in April, which okay. was in summer. Mm -hmm. So, and like uh, I reached through, I reached some people uh, via mm -hmm. like Facebook and WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. So like I already made some friends while I was in India. Mm -hmm. So I just came here and started living my life. <laughs> okay, so that right. means uh, you did not face a lot of issues because of the connections you made. Yes. Okay, that's uh, that's really nice to know. Did you find friends through a common WhatsApp group existing for the studies or was it through random Facebook groups? Uh, so the thing is like I knew which university was I going through mm -hmm. and and where I have to stay. Mm -hmm. So I started looking for universities in the location I was going to stay. Mm -hmm. And I found out that that university has like many Indian students staying here. And so I started connecting to them via Facebook and LinkedIn. And then somehow I got the invitation to the WhatsApp group like. Okay. And then I joined it and then yes. So where there is a will, there is a way and that's what yeah. you did. So uh, mm, the most interesting part uh, probably for the students is also about your course. Uh, of course, it is electronics engineering. Do you have some idea on how the course is different from India or is it the same way structured as in India? Can you speak in this next part a little bit more in depth about the course? Itself. Okay, so I will select those who are prepared for JWE mains and advanced in mm -hmm. India. Up till fourth semester, they will find no difficulties here in Germany okay. because it's like what we learn in mains. Uh, they mm -hmm. are going to just teach that, like mm -hmm. uh, in like circuits, pattern analysis, and then mesh analysis. Uh, yeah, so Thurvin equation. So it's completely same as what we learn for JWE mains up mm -hmm. till fourth semester. So for me, fifth semester was internship. Luckily, I got internship in like four days. I don't know how. <laughs> so mm -hmm. after my internship, like uh, there are like sixth and seventh, I will say are the major where you have to write your own seminar papers. Then mm -hmm. it comes your like, unlike uh, in India where you have no thesis, mm -hmm. there you have to write a bachelor, bachelor thesis. Mm -hmm. And you also have a bachelor project completely separate. Okay. So it's like, yeah, so last semester is like you have to do, it's like the most difficult part will be your time management. Mm -hmm. Because in India, we already have a schedule made by the university, like the courses are going to be taken from this time to this time. But here, like you will have like, for example, a course from 8.30 to 9.30, then you are two hours completely free, then you will have another lecture. Mm -hmm. And in seventh semester, like 
you don't have to even go to university you just have to write your thesis and do your project work at home so mm-hmm. you need to learn how to manage your time properly mm-hmm. if you want to complete it in time i would say okay so it's more focused on independent working at the end of your bachelor uh, studies uh, and not being too much dependent on how the course is structured from the from the university itself so you yeah. are more or less free to choose the subjects at hochschule or is it more like uh, there are specific subjects which you have to complete to complete your bachelor's are so there... like from... mm-hmm. ah, okay so like for my course like up till 6 semester mm-hmm. Uh, uh everything is like fixed you only have two electives which you can select either in 6 semester and one in 7 semester mm-hmm. so you have option to select embedded engineering or autonomous engineering mm-hmm. so that's also divided into two part a, a and b so you take a in 6 semester and b in 7 semester then you can also shuffle for example embedded in embedded a in 6 and autonomous b in 7 so okay so the choices come more or less at the end of the end of the course rather than the beginning of the course yes so how is your overall experience uh, would you suggest this kind of experience of for students who directly want to come to bachelors or do you think it needs a lot of uh, extra efforts apart from studies because you also need to know the surroundings new culture how is your overall experience Yeah so I will say like those who want to come to like want mm-hmm. to go to abroad and study it's like a good opportunity for example like uh, you become self dependent mm-hmm. so it's uh, you have to work you have to cook for yourself clean mm-hmm. the apartment mm-hmm. also you have to study and sleep on time mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's like uh, the challenging I won't say it would be challenging it would be like how mot- motivated you are to make your life like successful mm-hmm. in the end or like to go through it like and it will be a good experience for you because like in future you there might be you have to live alone and then it will be a good experience i would say in the end so uh, self discipline is the most important thing according to you if someone wants to pursue bachelor yes. studies and uh, can you also speak a little bit about the student mix in your course like are there students from different countries or are most of them from germany Ah uh, so it's like in my course like currently like I the colleagues I know are like uh, one is from Germany one is from Belgium mm-hmm. and one is from Romania I think so mm-hmm. and then most of them are from Bangladesh mm-hmm. and South Africa wow so that means you have a diversity of students uh, and that's something good also I guess for the learning experience Yeah, and currently, if I like in the upcoming semester, there are also few students from Brazil, mm-hmm. and there is also an exchange program where like the students from Brazil come to Germany to study, and then you can get to know them. Yes. Okay. I think we covered most of the things with respect to the course. What are the challenges? Uh, can you speak a little bit about what are the advantages and disadvantages probably of pursuing uh, bachelors? from a foreign country yeah. i think you are also a right person in this case because you experienced at least one year of bachelor life in india and then you shifted here so i think you can give a good idea of how it's different in both part of the worlds okay so uh, the disadvantage i will say will be a social life mm-hmm. because when i was doing my bachelor's in india i stayed at the hostel itself mm-hmm. and it was fun it was so fun like Yeah and but when you come and you live here it's like everyone has their own independent life so it's like they don't mess with you and you don't mess with them <laughs> so the only disadvantage will be a social life like mm-hmm. if you are a social person otherwise like doing bachelor's in germany is like advantage is very advantage is because the work life balance here is good i would say like so if you can manage your studies and then you can also go to work and you can earn and if you like earning good then you can also like visit the european countries like it's the center of like europe so you can go anywhere you want for your vacation correct so from the perspective of exploring the world i think uh, it's uh, very advantageous to be positioned in europe yes and uh, for sure with respect to the social life i also definitely agree with you that it's totally different but once you form a small community around you find the right set of people then i think it isn't out and with time you 
see the benefits more rather than the disadvantages yeah it's like you make a very close friends mm-hmm. so it's like they stay close to you and like you know like or everything about them and they know about everything so it's like you help each other when push for push them forward and they push you forward in your life yes, yes. so i see that you are already at the end of your bachelor studies uh, currently in the last semester where do you see yourself from here on do you plan to do masters or join companies what's the plan going ahead so the the university which i shortlisted like they start in winter semester mm-hmm. and i will be completing my study in the winter semester itself okay. so i want to do masters after mm-hmm. my bachelor's but since uh, like i have already emailed universities regarding this concern mm-hmm. so if i get a positive feedback like yes you can apply and with respect to your transcript you will get admission and you can defer it for one semester mm-hmm. then it will be a good otherwise then like uh, i have to look for the new universities which start in summer semester mm-hmm. or i will have to like work for one year but then then again it will be issue because if i start my i have to, like after my studies i have to look for work let's say i start in january next year so i will have to work for one and a half year here in germany before i start my master so it's like i'm going to waste my six months again correct Mm-hmm. so i have to like somehow look what i ha- what i need to do and how i should proceed now okay one more additional question regarding to the same topic uh, is the process different for you when compared to a student applying from foreign country for example someone wants to apply from india but you since have completed your bachelor's here in germany do you have to go through the same process such as aps and stuff or no no so like it's mm-hmm. quite beneficial for example sometimes like the deadline for students coming from india applying master is like march mm-hmm. and for me it's still august so like i can wow. apply till some university i can apply till august and i will get admission and i will be there in september wow wow that's really nice to know that's really great uh, as well since there is no visa issues and stuff i think they process it pretty quickly and... yes and i don't need aps which like i have heard from like there is a facebook group and i heard like it takes 6 months even like more time that than and yes another question that might be very much important uh, for all the students who plan to come for bachelor studies how much does it cost per semester for masters as far as i know uh, only in baden wurtemberg it costs around 1500 euros per semester irrespective of the university and in all the other public universities it is uh, free uh, how is it for bachelor so for bachelors like the public university it's completely like free i want to say free like it's like the asta which charges you around 300 euros and also in uh, you talk uh, mention about baden wurtemberg it's like if i'm doing my bachelor's here in germany it's free for me in baden wurtemberg i don't have to pay 1500 euros because yesterday only i went through a website and i was looking through and you can apply like if you have done your bachelor's in germany you don't have to pay the 1500 euros fees and there are some private universities which of course charges you up to 10000 euros per semester so they are the private ones so i think uh, all the students who are watching this video and want to pursue bachelor's they have got a very good idea and if still there are more questions i ask you all to write it down in the comment section so that probably just me once in a while will answer those if there are any further questions thanks just me are there any closing words comments that you want to make with respect I've... to bachelor studies life in germany yeah it's like uh, don't be afraid to take risk like challenges like it's a challenge mm-hmm. come here and if you want to do like just try to overcome it and it will be a fun life i will say so with this uh, we come to the end of this session thank you all for tuning into this interview with uh, jasmeet singh against all odds he has come at a very young age to germany and pursued his dreams i think where, where there is a will there is a way and jasmeet is a live example so with this we come to the end of this session thank you all once again and if you like the video please like it and share it with other students who want to pursue masters or bachelors in germany